guys future Matt here just popping in to do this intro real quick one of my SD cards got corrupted and I lost about the first 20% of the video unfortunately but the goal was to go camp at a lake that I go to in the summer usually a few kilometers away from the lake the roads got really bad and I didn't want to risk getting stuck so I ended up camping the night at the start of a snowmobile trail and that's kind of where we started our day so I arrived around 4 p.m. ish so we had about 30 or 40 minutes of light left in the day I lost all the footage right up until I made dinner so we're gonna start right in with uh, us making some dinner I hope you guys enjoy the video all right for those of you wondering it is Minus 10 outside right now. It's a nice warm 18 degrees Celsius inside. I don't think these potato wedges are really meant to be made in a frying pan, but that's what we're gonna do. Get this pan going here. Okay, we're gonna hit the pan with some avocado oil. A few tablespoons. I couldn't park the camper fully on a flat spot, so. All right, so here I have a half pound of ground beef. So that'll make us two patties. We're gonna do quarter pounders. I'm just gonna make these into like giant shaped meatballs and then we're gonna smash these down on the frying pan. I just like hitting these burgers with only salt and pepper. You could always do like steak spice or something, but it's just overkill for me, I feel like. They turn out super good, just salt, pepper, awesome burgers. So I got something I haven't showed you guys yet. I got us a spice rack. So this, I couldn't even fit all my spices on it, unfortunately. And we got a ton of spices to work with when we're uh, cooking out here. So we'll be able to make some amazing stuff out here. I'm excited. Potato wedges are smoking up a storm. Honestly, I think, I think they're about there. I think we're gonna pull these off and we'll get the burgers going. Make sure this pan's really hot. We'll grab our burgers. So we're just gonna be doing one at a time. Make sure to get it in the middle of the pan as best you can. We're just going to go ahead with a piece of parchment paper and smash down. That is the final product. I think that looks pretty damn good. Mm. That is awesome. Smash burgers are just so delicious and easy to make. Like so simple, but I'm probably not gonna make them in the camper ever again. Cause the amount of smoke and just like grease flying everywhere uh, yeah, it's just not worth cooking in here. I'm gonna have to clean everything off really good um, But yeah, no, they're 10 out of 10 like if you want to make these at home They're so simple just 80 20 ground beef salt pepper you smash them down on a ripping hot pan and Yeah, it's just awesome. So I think we're gonna start a new uh, Addition to the camping videos. We're gonna do like some comment reading whenever uh, we're eating and stuff so yeah, let's get in the first comment. This one's from Sean Savickus. I'm um, sorry if I'm butchering your name. He said, I'm liking the videos, dude. New sub here. Keep them going and being yourself. Love it when you said it was fucking cold. Total ace. Uh, yeah, that first video, it was so cold out. And that was my first time winter camping. So next comment coming in is from Z Sills. Um, I'm probably messing your name up, but uh, they said, I love your videos. I live in Florida. I miss the snow, etc. Plus, you seem to cook the most amazing food. I can almost smell it cooking uh i appreciate the nice words man yeah I, I i love cooking i've always loved cooking ever since i was a kid and uh yeah cooking's always going to be a main focus on the channel here love camping love cooking you know just the best of both worlds in my opinion uh next comment coming in from jay ranger he said hey matt were you in four wheel drive the whole time driving just curious your truck seemed to drive flawless getting up there uh yes Whenever I'm on the dirt back roads, I'm usually in four wheel, especially with the snow. The second I hit the uh, the dirt road, I'm right in four wheel drive. But if I'm on like normal roads, it's just two wheel drive. My truck did do pretty good getting up here. Uh, it, 
it has really good winter tires on it but whenever I get the opportunity I'd like to get a winch and a nice good set of chains uh, the homeless crypto man says you should show us how you set up your bed uh, I'll be sure to show you guys today how I set up my bed it's pretty simple it's like it's a tiny bed um, thank you guys for all the nice comments uh, I've read them all we're not gonna read them all on video but uh, I, I always read all the comments, so if you guys leave comments, just know I always see it, and uh, I try to get back to as many as I can. Thank you guys so much for 1,500 subs. It's actually crazy already to have that that kind of a number. I mean, I had 19 subscribers less than a month ago, so you guys are crazy. I really appreciate it, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and chill, and then once everything's cooled down, I'm going to clean everything up, and then I'll show you guys the setup of the bed and stuff. get that there I don't know I usually just throw all my like jacket and snow pants all that up here but I got one really big fuzzy blanket and then this green blanket on my head man the amount of times I hit my head in this camper um, yeah it, <laughs> I mean that's just it you just jump up you just stand on the side and then uh, kind of jump up over but we got some little windows on each side I have that one open pretty much the entire time just for uh, ventilation just cracked a little bit uh, up here keep the fire alarm slash carbon monoxide sensor um, just some random miscellaneous stuff a headlamp so I'm just gonna go ahead and chill for now um, that's kind of the main rundown of the bed I'm just gonna go watch some movies kill some time just relax oh fuck is that a spider oh my god yeah <laughs> dude I just saw this fucking Oh my god, that scared me. I thought that was some white spider. I'm such a little bitch. I hate spiders, but I will catch up with you guys when uh, when I'm ready to go to bed. All right, it is uh, almost 11 o'clock. It's minus 14.4 outside, and it's uh, 23 inside here right now, so pretty warm in here, pretty cold outside, but I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep, guys. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. So I ended up leaving pretty early today. Some guys pulled up with snowmobiles and I was blocking the head of the trail. So I got out of there. Uh, hopefully they have a good day snowmobile. Looks fun, I wish I had a snowmobile. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna head down, go get some Tims, you know, and uh, start my day. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next one.